So Jared Goff gets $170 million. Actually, he gets $170 million guaranteed four years. He's now the second highest paid player in the National Football League. I don't know, man. I, I just don't know. Look, I like Jared Goff. I think Jared Goff is a good quarterback. I thought it was crazy last year when people were talking about Jared Goff, the, the, the Lions trying to replace him. I'm like, I'm not sure what you're looking for. A quarterback that throws for 4,500 yards and over 30 touchdowns, what, what else are you wanting? And then he goes out and leads your team to the NFC Championship game. And if it's not for a couple of, let's just call it silly mistakes by, by uh, the head coach, Dan Campbell, they may have been in the Super Bowl. So, and to say Jared Goff is average is, a, is a, just a silly, uninformed take. Maybe you don't like Jared Goff, but to say no, nobody throwing for that kind of yardage and those touchdowns is average. Is he the best player in the league? No. Is he the best quarterback in the league? No. But that's not average. So, you don't have to like it, but that's not average. And saying that just means you're uninformed or you just don't like him. So, and you, either that, you know, and it's always, well, it's the people around it. Well, Joe Montana had Jerry Rice. Was he average? No. So, stop the nonsense. Stop the nonsense. Good quarterback. Is he worth those kinds of dollars? Mm, no. No, he's not. But is anybody? Do, do, doesn't everybody always pay overpay? You overpay for either free agents or you overpay to keep your guys. That's how it always works. My thing is, is that at some point, some of these owners got to try to fight back and just say, look, if this is the, the production we're getting from a quarterback, why do we have to pay $55 million a year? Like, if, if you have to, and look, here's Jared Goff. He's playing well. He's got a great line, a great running game, good receivers. but. If does he have to have all of that to function? Maybe the answer is yes. And if he does have to have all that to function, why do you then have to turn around and give him $55 million? I've said the same thing about Dak Prescott forever. Dak Prescott's a good quarterback. But for Dak to be at his best and to see the, the crazy output, he's got to have two good receivers, a great line, a great running game. Well, okay. But at what point when I pay you $55 million do you just have to have a good receiver? You don't have to have the best in the league. You can have a good line. You don't have to have the best line or the best running game. At, at what point, if I'm giving you those kinds of dollars, why can't you elevate other people? At some point, owners are going to have to start saying that. You got to elevate. You got to elevate. So it is what it is, you know. It just, at some point, that that has to start coming into the conversation. But good for Jared Goff. You know me. I'm never going to begrudge anybody for getting their money. Get all the money that you can. Absolutely good for him. And again, Jared Goff is a good quarterback. And if you go by the numbers last year, he was a top 10 quarterback, and there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Anybody that's saying that what he's done the last two years doesn't mean that he's a top 10 quarterback. Either you don't like him or you don't know what you're looking at. Because he absolutely was. He absolutely was. You know, you can get by with one year. Okay, he was okay for a year. But then the rest of his career wasn't. But he was good. Jared Goff was good. So, does that mean he's Patrick Mahomes? No, but you don't have to be Patrick Mahomes to be in the top 10. And he was that. The numbers say so. So, I agree they're overpaid. Who really is evaluating guys to an elite level besides Patty, though? That's that's the whole thing. Nobody's elevating anybody to that. So Jared Goff is a good quarterback. He, he just is. I know people don't want to say that because so there's a lot of uninformed people out there, but Jared Goff's a good quarterback. He just is. Good quarterback, got his money. So we'll see what happens this year. We'll see what happens this year. Because the Lions, again, got a good roster. They got a shot. They got a shot here. Let's take a look at, at what some people are saying over here. 
on YouTube. Jared Goff is a good QB. It's just something missing. Give Goff a good running game, though, and he is deadly because of his play-action accuracy. Well, what's missing? You're saying something's missing. What, what What's missing? I mean, the Lions have a good running game. He, he's good with his play-action pass. I mean, what's missing? He's, he doesn't run around. Like, he doesn't make plays outside the pocket. Maybe that's what you're saying is missing. But there's a lot of guys like that. But, you know, that's the thing. He doesn't run around and make plays outside the pocket on the run. But other than that, he's a good quarterback. He just is. He just is. You know? Yeah, I'm, I'm just curious. What, what? At some point, we just need to say he's good. But he's not the best. And you don't have to be the best. Everybody can't be the best. So, my man Jason Parkinson, I remember after the trade, us Lion fans were saying Goff stood for get off Ford Field. He's not flashy at all, yet he's a great QB for the system. Yeah, for McDonald's system. Ben McDonald, absolutely. Bit overpaid, but I'm okay with it. A lot of people are overpaid. But I get what you're saying. I mean... I get what you're saying. Mm-mm-mm. Good point right here by LTB Sports. NFL wrote Goff off, and he has fixed all of his issues, but he has no glaring gaps in his game at this time. That's right. He doesn't. He doesn't. Again, nobody's saying he's Patrick Mahomes, but he doesn't have to be Patrick Mahomes. He doesn't have to be Patrick Mahomes to be a good quarterback. That's the whole point. Does not have to be Patrick Mahomes to be considered a good quarterback. So that's the that's the the whole narrative with it. But I like Jared Goff. I would take Jared Goff on the Steelers right this very second. And I can tell you what, if Jared Goff was on the Steelers, people would be talking about the Steelers possibly going to the Super Bowl. Now, there's going to be a lot of hate in the room when I say something like that, but the Steelers got that kind of roster, and if they had a quarterback of his caliber, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. But we don't. But we don't. But that don't matter. I told you all yesterday, Steelers going to the Super Bowl. Deal with it. Deal with it, people. Deal with it. So, mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Anton Winfield, let's move on to that. Whew. Winfield, first of all, he got paid the most money in the history of any defensive back in NFL history. Not safety. This includes corners. Corners. Antoine Winfield Jr. I don't know, man. Now, don't get me wrong. He's very good. But four years, $84.1 million. That's a lot. That's a lot. You know, $45 million guaranteed at signing, just guaranteed. Is he worth it? Remember last year when the narrative that safeties weren't as valuable? Remember when that narrative was going on, when everybody, oh, man, the safety position, they don't value it anymore. Yeah, well, Tampa says, damn that. Yeah, we value it. We value it a lot. Again, the, the highest paid contract of any defensive back in the history of the National Football League. Usually, that goes to cornerbacks. Tampa said, nope, we got a guy that can do a lot. He can play safety. He can play slot corner. He's a disruptor. He can get after the quarterback when we need him to. This is the guy. This is the guy. So good for him. Again, got paid. Good for him. The thing about it is, after these guys get paid, then what are they going to end up doing after that? That's the big question. So that's the big question. Is are they, are they going to continue down this path of dominance or – are they going to have a year of lax after they got the big paycheck 
and and take their foot off the gas. I don't think golf is going to take his foot off the gas. I don't even know if Winfield will. These seem like two high character guys. Not that other guys aren't high character that seem to do that. But we'll see. We will just see. So Winfield is great. Good for him. McDuffie, McDuffie's not getting paid next year. He got another year after that before he gets paid. He got he's a four year deal. There's no way they're they're giving him that kind of deal next year. So not next offseason. Well, maybe. Yeah, this is his third year. So going into his fourth year, yeah, they might. Because he was a second round pick, not a first. So you're right. You're right. McDuffie might might. I don't know if they're gonna give him that. I don't know if they're going to give him that, but we'll see. But I know McDuffie's agent is going to say, hey, 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 look what Antoine Winfield Jr. got, and we are better than he is. So what are we doing? What are we doing? So I like it. But, yeah, two guys, both got paid. Good for him, man. Good for him. Oh, my goodness. People are saying they're lifting that foot off the pedal just a little bit. They're going to lift the foot off the pedal. They had it all the way down, and Lord, have mercy. I don't know. I don't know. Let me look at something here. Mm-mm-mm. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, golf. I like I like what golf is doing. I like what golf is doing. I like what Winfield. I like both of them. Maybe they'll take their foot off the gas. I don't see that. I think because I don't know if Tampa can get to the Super Bowl. Detroit can get to the Super Bowl. They can. I think, again, Dan Campbell got in the way last year in the, in the a- NFC championship game. If he doesn't make those crazy calls, hmm, hmm, who knows? Who knows? McDuffie was a first-round pick. Yes, he was. Not a second-round pick, like I said. He was a first-round pick. I think the Chiefs had two. Maybe that's why I thought that he, I don't know. It doesn't matter. He was a first-round pick, not a second-round pick. And if he is, then, yeah, I don't know if the Chiefs are going to re-sign him next year because they got a fifth-year option. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Look at Steelers Almighty. Definitely would take golf in Pittsburgh right now. Absolutely we would. And there's probably 25 teams that would take Jared Goff as their quarterback right now. 25. I mean, we could probably name them if we needed to. Of the teams that would not take them. Because it ain't that many. It ain't that many. And there are even some starters on some good teams playoff teams right now that would still take Jared Goff. So we got to stop the golf slander. We got to stop it. So we got to stop it. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't think a man doesn't think McDuffie is better. Yeah, I think McDuffie's a better coverage guy. McDuffie's a tackler and he's a better coverage guy. I think he's better. I think he's better. But it's up for debate. It's up for debate. But I like what Winfield, I like both of them. We'll see. But congratulations to both of those guys for getting paid. 